Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical equation problem. It is x is equal to square root x square minus 15x plus 6 times x square plus 14x plus 6 over 30. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. So I will be writing, as you can see, right hand side we have square root. So it must be positive whatever is inside the square root. Radicant must be positive. Second thing from LHS we can write, it should be always positive. So I can frame two inequality. Let me write here. First one from LHS, x greater than 0. Second one from RHS, this product x square minus 15x plus 6 times x square plus 14x plus 6, this product should be positive. And if you will simplify using number line method, then you will be having two roots of first bracket. So let me write root x should be less than 0 0.411 first root and second root of first bracket it is 14.58. So if it is greater than 0 then exempted domain or exempted range is in between the roots. Similarly from the second one we will write x should be less than minus 13.55 and x should be greater than minus 0.442. Now from first condition, which is x greater than 0, I can exempt this one. So now I will take intersection of these two, this one and first point. So only positive real will be accepted. Let me write here, x should be greater than 0 and less than 0 0.411 and x should be greater than 14.58. So our answer should lie in this interval only. Now let's begin our simplification or solving procedure. So I will consider squaring both sides. So it will become x square minus 15x plus 6 times x square plus 14x plus 6 equal to 30x square. Now I will write our equation in this manner. See it is x square plus 6 minus 15x and then I will be writing x square plus 6 plus 14x equal to 30x square. Now consider it is one bracket so we can take the product multiply it. So I will be writing x square plus 6 whole square. Then 14x minus 15x. So minus x, the same bracket, x square plus 6. And once I will take product of minus 2, minus 15x and plus 14x, I will be getting minus 210x square equal to 30x square. Now I will write x square plus 6 whole square minus x x square plus 6 plus or negative 240 x square equal to 0. Now I will use Sridharachar formula. Let us consider this is our variable. So it is variable in x square plus 6. This is one quadratic equation which is in variable x square plus 6. So I am solving for x square plus 6 equal to minus b. So I will write plus x. In place of b it is minus x. So minus b will become plus x. Plus minus under the root b square. So minus x square x square. Minus 4ac. So I will be writing 240 times 4. 960x square divided by 2a. So 2 x plus minus square root 961 x square divided by 2. Now square root of 961 it is 31. So x plus minus 31 x divided by 2. 
so with plus sign i will be having 32x over 2 and with minus sign it would be minus 30x over 2 so from here we are getting two values 16x and minus 15x so i will write now x square plus x is equal to 16x and minus 15x let's frame two equations from here so we can write x square plus x equal to 16x x square plus 6 equal to minus 15x take all the term to one side x square minus 16x plus 6 equal to 0 x square plus 15x plus 6 equal to 0 let's apply Shridharachar formula so i will be writing x is equal to minus b so 16 plus minus under the root b square so 256 minus 4ac minus 24 divided by 2a so 2 here i will be writing minus b so minus 15 plus minus under the root b square 225 minus 24 divided by 2a so 2 now 256 minus 24 it is 232 so i will be writing a square root 232 divided by 2 and here if i will write then minus 15 plus minus this is 201 so i will be writing 201 divided by 2 now i can write 232 as it is 58 times 4 so we can write 2 root 58 so let me write plus minus 2 root 58 divided by 2 so from here i am getting 8 plus minus root 58 two real values 8 plus minus root 58 now from second one if i will simplify this one so it will become x is equal to we cannot factorize 201 so denominator would be intacted as it is now you can see both values square root 201 it is less than 15 negative 15 so both values you will be having negative magnitude so i will write minus 15 plus square root 201 over 2 and minus 15 minus square root 201 over 2 both values are negative so rejected so only accepted values are this one plus minus 8 plus minus square root 58 let's verify how it would be i won't put this value i will write only 8 plus minus square root 58 let's check only the value so our domain was let me write here x should be lying in the interval 0 0.441 411 and x is greater than 14.58 this was our domain only we have to check whether it is lying in that or not so i will be writing x is equal to 8 plus root 58 and then we will write x is equal to 8 minus root 58 now root 58 is if you will put this value it is 7.8 something so i will write 15.63 exactly this is 7.63 so 15.63 and second value if you will check it is coming out 0 0.384 now you can see this value is less than 0 0.411 and greater than 0 obviously and this value is greater than 14.58 that means both values are correct so our final answer becomes x is equal to 8 plus minus square root 58 and in terms of decimals if i will write then x is equal to 15.62 plus value and negative value minus value with minus sign 384.
आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब बाई टिल नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड लक एंड टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ